Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting topic. Today's topic is about clock divided by 3 with 75% of duty cycle. So before going to clock divided by 3 with 75% of duty cycle, you must know clock divided by 3 with 50% duty cycle. If you don't know that, please stop this video right now and check out the link in the description or you can press that i button to find the clock divided by 3 with 50% of duty cycle and come back so that we can discuss about 75% of duty cycle. So right now I'm going to discuss about a clock divided by 3 just in a minute, not more than that, for just a minute. So what does a clock divided by 3 with 50% duty cycle does? So if it's up, this is our main clock. So main clock time period is T and frequency is F. Suppose the frequency is F. So if we give it to a clock divided by 3, what does it does is F by 3 will be the frequency and time period will be 3T. Okay, as you can see over here, the time period is 3T for the main clock. So clock out would be 3T of it. One clock time period of the output will be equal to the three clock time period of the main clock. As you can see, one, two, and three is equals to one time period of clock divided by three. So this is the input and output of a clock divided by three with a 50% of duty cycle. Now we need to achieve that with the 75%. So now this is the basic diagram where you can get the clock divided by three circuit. So this is the circuit where we use mod three counter, a flip flop and R gate the clock will be our input and the output will be clock divided by 3. So this is the main clock and this is the output from this circuit. I hope you understood this is the just in a minute. If you want a detailed explanation of clock divided by 3, go check it out in the description or in the i button. So now let's go with the clock divided by 3 with 75% of duty cycle. So before going to the clock divided by 3 of a 75% duty cycle, so I'm going to explain what's a duty cycle. So duty cycle definition is that over a period of time, it's a fraction over a period of time to the, the time the signal is on. So I'm going to take this example where a signal is having a time period of t and it's on for t by 2 and it's off for t by 2. So what's the duty cycle of it? So as per the definition, it's a fraction of the time the signal is on to the total time period. So that the duty cycle will be. So the time period for which it is on to the time period of the cycle. So it is t by 2 by 2. It's 1 by 2. So since we need to convert into the percentage, it will be 50%. I hope you understand the 50% is the duty cycle for this small example. Now, what's our requirement? Our requirement is 75% of duty cycle. So our requirement is 75% of duty cycle for clock divided by three. So clock divided by three is or like this. As you can see, the time period is 3T, not T. So most of the people will miss over here. The time period is 3T, not T. So we need a 75% of duty cycle for this clock. It's 50%, we need to convert it to 75%. So now let us calculate the how much time the signal should be on for 75% of duty cycle. So we need to calculate how much time the signal is on. So now we know the time period is 3T for clock divided by three and the duty cycle we require is 75%, okay? So we need to calculate T on over here. Okay, understand this. So now we need to calculate this T on. So 75% can be written as three by four. So get this three T over there and we got our time period nine T by four. We require nine T by four for 90 by 4 the time should be on for the signal and 3t by 4 it should be off so as you can see over here this is our main clock with the time period of t so with the 75 percent of duty cycle we need a clock should be active for 90 by 4 this is 75 percent and this is 25 percent of clock divided by 3 whose time period is 3t Okay, I hope you understood this. So for 3T, the 75% is 90 by 4 and off time is 3T by 4. Okay, now we need to design a circuit for this. 
So now let's go for the circuit description and what will be the timing diagrams in between and how are we achieving it. So guys, this is the circuit for clock divided by three with 75% of duty cycle. It is very simple if you know clock divided by three for 50% of duty cycle. So what I'm using over here is two clock divided by three with 50% of duty cycle, a R gate and a 2X multiplier of clock. So what does a 2X multiplier does? 2X multiplier will multiply the frequency by two of the clock in. So for this clock in, we will get a multiplied frequency at K. So this K will be given to a clock divided by three and we will get the output A. And now we have another path. In this path, I'm taking clock in and directly giving it to without any uh, modification, I'm giving it directly to clock divided by three with 50% of duty cycle and getting the output B. I hope this is a simple diagram for you. And if you don't know clock divided by three with 50% duty cycle circuit, please do watch my other video in the description or in the I button. Let's go for the timing diagrams to understand the clearly what the circuit output is and the input is at K, A, B and clock out. So first we will consider the output at K where clock in is the input and K is the output the frequency will be doubled in here. So now let us look at the timing diagrams. So as you can see in here clock in is shown in the black sketch with the pauses with the arrow. Okay the time period of clock in is T. So we are passing it to a 2x multiplier. A 2x multiplier will reduce the time period and increase the frequency. So what happened is that a single clock period will be fitted in t by 2. So clock period of k is t by 2. Okay. So as you can see over here a single clock period of t will be sufficient for two clock periods of k. 1 and 2 will be fit in a single clock period. So now this k is being given to what clock divided by 3 of 50% duty cycle. So this is our clock multiplier output. Now we will be giving it to clock divided by 3. So as you can see in the circuit diagram, we got a k with a reduced frequency and the speed is increased as you know and t by 2 is the time period for this clock period and which will be passed to clock divided by 3 of a 50% duty cycle and the output will be a. So as you can see k has been passed to a clock divided by 3 50% and the output is a. So how will be a? So for three clock periods of k we will get a single clock period of a. Okay, one clock period of A is equals to three clock periods of K. So one, two and three is equal to a single clock period. So this is the output of K divided by three for 50% of duty cycle. Okay, here also I'm considering 50% of duty cycle as you can see T by two is T by two and T by four. It is so it is exactly half of this. So we are covering one clock plus half cycle of this one. So it is one and a half and one and a half clock cycle of K. It is covering in a single three by two. Okay, three T by two. Now I hope you get the output of A. Now we will look at the B and clock out. So we have completed this path from clock in to two X uh, to will get K and clock divided by three with 50% duty cycle and we'll get A. So now we are going in here to get the B as the output. So let us go for the B. It is similar to the normal one which we have which I have shown uh, at first. It is similar to clock divided by three but I have to show so let's go for it. So as you can see this is B. So the time period is 3t and from where it has obtained the input the input is clock in. So this input is B. So as you can see the input is clock in and the output is 3t. Okay it is 3t and the frequency is divided by 3. I hope you get the output. Now we need to take these two inputs and give it to an OR gate. We will get our 75% of duty cycle. So as you can see we got our A, we got our B. Now this both are going into the OR gate and we are getting our clock out with the 75% of duty cycle. So it is clock divided by 3 with 75% of duty cycle. Now let's go and check clock out.
So our inputs are for OR gate are A and B, which will be clocking out. So now let us look at it. So OR gate functionality is whenever the both inputs are high, we will get high. Whenever one of the input is high, we will get high. Okay. Now as you can see, A is high, B is high. So clock out will be high. So A is B, A is zero, B is one. So clock out will be high. And A is one, B is zero, clock out will be high. So this is our clock out. As you can see, the time period is very, very different compared to clock divided by three. So clock divided by three output is just still here, but we are getting an extra amount over here. So we are getting an extra, extra cycle. Not exactly a cycle, we are getting extra amount of T for the T, to, T on should be active. As you can see, it is for T plus T plus T by four. This amount of time it is active and three T by four, it is low. So by this, you can guess what is T plus T plus T by four. It's nine T by four, okay? T on is 90 by 4. That is what the required duty cycle we have. So this is the clock divided by 3 with 75% of duty cycle which we have achieved using this circuitry. So if you have any doubts comment down below. I will answer within 24 hours and if you have uh, any other doubts re regarding digital electronics uh, please comment down below. If that topic is required I will make a video within 2 to one week okay one to two weeks i can do it for you and don't forget to subscribe and turn your notification on because if you don't turn your notification on you won't get the uh, notification and you will miss out the video which might be very important for your exams or career and thanks for watching and please do subscribe that will help me a lot and i hope you like this video and want more of this leave that thumbs up because youtube like thumbs up